But as I took down the wrapping, tell me this is not being so. Where's my hair? Where's my hair? Where? I can't find it. I can't see it. If you're in Ife, where I'm staying. Ah, this one here is not friendly. It's not anybody's friend. It didn't come to joke. It didn't come for comic relief. It didn't come for a comedy show. Um, pull out the hair small. They want to wrap your entire strand of hair. That's why this time you looked at that like, painful stuff. People kept on asking me, does it not pain you? Does it not hurt you? Hi there, people of the internet. Welcome to my channel. My name is Okachi. Welcome my channel. Hi, how are you? I create content around natural hair, lifestyle, and entrepreneurship. Okay, so if you're not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. Okay, and if you're to my channel, welcome back home. So, guys, so this video is everything, everything what African threading, everything African. I'm going to talk about African threading, pros, cons, maintenance, all that good stuff. Okay, so without further ado, you know how to do. Let us get right into the video so let's also just talk with about his hairstyle um i've had this hairstyle in for three weeks and three and a half weeks three weeks and four days that's already three and a half weeks and i actually got it done because i was not in the mental states or in the mental capacity or even in the psychological financial emotional state of mind to deal with my hair i was just re resuming school and i was already behind in school so like my hair needed to be like the list of my problems basically so yeah that's why i got this hairstyle so what actually what is this hairstyle okay this Af hairstyle is called um african threading some people call it kiko in yoruba it's called kiko i always call it kiko like well, i went to do kiko yeah but um some people call it kiko so it's african threading or kiko it's when like your hair your entire strand of hair is actually like rolled in or wrapped in under a material the material can actually be actual thread like sewing thread it can be wool it can be twine i think it's twine. that's shiny like rubber it can be twine those are like the three materials they, they use you know we're so crazy i was thinking i just thought about it now if you can do african threading with actual ankara material like you just cut the ankara small small like wool and just that would be nice so like it's, your hair will be so colorful so um mine is actually brazilian wool. i use baby wool so this is brazilian wool i used um seven packs of brazilian wool to get this done don't be surprised that's not even so much okay so yeah so you can be, this style is very very it's very very afrocentric it's an african hairstyle um it's been in africa or in nigeria precisely for because it like beginning of time because <laughs> every every time i went on the road like i always had someone tell me like with this style in lagos so oh my god my grandma used to do this hairstyle she had this hairstyle when she was a baby and the person telling me is like my mommy's age her grandma that should be like my great grandma when she was a baby, that, 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 that's like almost a century ago at least. I mean, <laughs> that's like almost a century ago. So it has been in like Africa for a very, 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 very long time. Like the African trade is actually coming back because like the African trading technique is what caused the development of the four locks. So you see all oh, four locks for shades, all based off of African threading, all based off of Kiko. All of them, no matter, even when they say, oh, bring out the old goddess locks with this on the side, it's still, this is still the base idea, okay? But the thing about it is that you can't install this for yourself so easily. Like, it will be this, let's say this arranged, but you can easily do four locks crochet by yourself. So that one was just, it was just like African threading that entire aeroplane and came back, basically. <laughs> entire aeroplane and came back, but this is still the base, or this is still the, yeah, the basis of, the four locks I will see everybody getting on. Like I know I have done four locks before, so I've done it for myself, I've done it for my sisters, I've done it for people, and I've also done African threading. This is my third time of doing African threading. Okay, this is my third time. Not my, I thought it was my second time, but it was my third time. I did it in 100 level. I did it in 2016 before I entered university, and I have it now when I'm about to graduate like next year. So, ooh. <laughs> okay, so um, let's get into the pros and cons of African threading. Let's start off with the pros before we get into the cons. I mean, good things first before bad things, okay? So the first pro on my list, guys, is installation is so easy and it doesn't take time at all. It took me like, it took me like three hours to do this entire thing and wrap it up. I had this wrapped up before. I'm going to have a picture here. I had it wrapped up before. I just took it down because I think one pulled out of the wrapping and I regret doing that because now I can't wrap it back up, back up by myself. I can't, I just can't. But um, the installation is very, very easy. It's, yeah, it requires a, like, you must be skilled in, like, the arrangement of the wood and everything, you know, but it's easy. If when you eventually get it, it just works. It just, it just, it's just very nice. It just feels very nice in your hand and it's very, it doesn't take time at all. I mean, if you have someone that doesn't want all this, like, oh, braids take 10 hours, 11 hours, this takes 5 hours or 6 hours, this should be 
a go-to style for UK. My next pro is that it's cheap, guys. <laughs> the Afrocentric African African hairstyles, the core ones, are very, very cheap to get installed. You know, they don't know these imported ones. When we're doing normal, normal, eh, uh, DD, all these styles, they're not expensive to install. But then you now want to start doing all this, eh, uh, Ghana weaving with this and this and this, with my hair hanging from the side. That's an exactly expensive. So this, I didn't pay to get this done, but usually this cost, I went to the salon to actually ask them how much it costs, and they don't meet 2K in the salon near my house. But online, I saw some salons that are charged like between 3, 5, and like 7K to get this done. Depending on how intricate you want it wrapping to, because it's the wrapping that actually brings out the beauty of the African Tony method, it's the wrapping. Okay? But for like the material to get it done, I mean, I spent, I already had, I had, it, it cost, I had to use 7 Brazilian and wood. I already had 6 Brazilian and wood at home, so I actually just had to buy one. It cost me 250. <laughs> when I say, oh, one Brazilian will work here, it actually cost like almost like 2k, 1750 to get this done, like to buy the material for it. If I was doing braids, guys, 1750 is not even for one attachment. It's not even one, it's not even it's like half attachment. It's not even one, and I'll use like three or four attachments. So, I mean, this is a very, very affordable, very, very cheap and affordable hairstyle. This hairstyle also ages well. Like, I mean, I've had it for almost three weeks. I know it looks quite like very, very frizzy and cool, but. It still just looks so cool. I even got someone. I was supposed to visit this hairstyle this morning. I'm like, I don't feel it again. Blah. Someone, someone told me yesterday as I was in the bus, like, how many was this? Other girls, how many was this for? Her? And I'm like, seven. She's like, wow, I love it. Did you do it here in Ife? And I'm like, no. I try not to take my hair in Ife as much. I wish I could make it from home because it's just easier and like, time. It helps me to save time. She's like, wow, hair is so beautiful. And I'm like, hey, I want to listen tomorrow. I didn't say that. Out. I'm like, oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm like, hey, I want to listen tomorrow. So because of that compliment, I'm not taking it down at all till it gets to like six weeks. Don't look at me some type of way until it gets to like six weeks, okay? So, another advantage, okay, like the main advantage is that your entire strand of hair is tucked under the wool. I don't get to see my hair. I can't say breakage, because I mean, break, breakage way. I can't see my hair. Or like every other style that involves using an attachment or using an extension. This is like the main style that you will not see your hair at all. Like, this is like the least breakage based hairstyle. This breakage based hairstyle. Every other style, even like braids, when they wrap your hair, wrap your hair, they trim you, breakage will shall call your end will shall be exposed somehow, somehow, somehow. But with this one, your entire strand of hair is literally tucked in. Where's my hair? Where's my hair? Where? I can't find it. I can't see it. Exactly. So, like your entire strand of hair is tucked, is literally tucked in, okay? So the next thing is this hairstyle, um, it's a very, very beautiful style. Like everywhere I go, I always get compliments. It's a very, very beautiful style. It's always, it's always a conversation state starter, like, ah. I like your hair. Even when I went to Ikeja, I had like women that were like in their forties selling things in the market, 30s, 40s. And these women pointing at my head like sees like babies, like children, like mommy, this, this, like literally point it was I think Ikeja on that bridge. It was just it was just it was just a, a wholesome moment. Cause I'm like I was there complicated like get my hair done, obviously. Like, I, I don't know, it's just I think it's just my vibe. I think hairstyle looked very good on me. But this one was it was, it was a Game changer, cause I always get oh, your hair looks nice, but for people to actually like start pointing, I'm like, wow, look at her hair. Just, like they actually telling like her friend, like look, 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 look. I was a fool. So the hairstyle is very, very beautiful hairstyle. Like I mean, it's very, very beautiful. Another thing is that this hairstyle has very, very intri the intricate wrapping styles make this hairstyle so beautiful. Like when I had it still wrapped, God, I regret taking it down. When I had it still wrapped. Everywhere I went to, it's not how I got on my house and I'm not getting compliments. So like, I'm saying, God, that day. Or maybe everybody's inside for a national census. Cause <laughs> what? Every time I went out of my house, I always got a compliment. Like, wow, your hair looks so nice. Where did you get it done? Do it in effect. Do it in effect. Do it here. Do it here. Do it here. Do it here. How they do it? How they do it? Bro, <laughs> it's, uh, it's the compliments for me. <laughs> yes, I mean, you see, and when you get compliments, when you, like when you step out of your house, you don't feel good. I know you want to say, oh, we're not trying to get validated by people, but compliments make you feel better than how you felt like. This one is like, oh, wow, you are so beautiful. Even if you have any bodies, oh my God, thank you. It makes you feel like slightly better. So that to me, that, that is an advantage, okay? And fam, the take down is very easy. My wool is preserved. I'm, I'm, I'm going to reuse this wool definitely because I didn't make enough wool to go. I don't want to buy any other extra wool, but take down is very easy and it's like, I don't have to it away. All I have to do is cut off the ends I burnt. I'm not that burnting myself. I just cut off the ends. I just pull and it's easy for it to lose in. So now, 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 to the cons, to the cons, to the cons. What are the cons? What are the agbados? <laughs> Please don't vote in the book for president. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So the first thing is, guys, this is actually a high tension style. From most stylists, the average hairstylist that will get this, that will do the style for you will not be patient enough to see it. 
Oh, um, pull out the hair small. They want to wrap your entire strand of hair. That's why this time you looked at that like, painful stuff. People kept asking me, does it not pain you? Does it not hurt you? I'm like, do you want, do you want me to be in pain? <laughs> do you want to be in pain? <laughs> you want me to be in pain? Does it not hurt you? Does it not pain you? But because this time has been viewed as a very, very painful stuff. Because many stylists just want to pull your head. They want your head to be snatched like this. They can even, this is like natural Botox. You can even have fine lines. They want to pull it up. Exactly. So, like, call it really as a style that comes like, is a painful hairstyle. Even for me, I even I could like I could tell the I could tell Ruth because the person I met her name is Ruth. She's in my she's in my cosmetology school. What my, my cosmetology school vlog here? Like, food it's here, rather it's here. Um, I'll tell her please. But I'm not. I told her they don't know me. I'm not here for. I'm not doing the hairstyle to be have me here. It's better protect this style before it's a beautifying style. So just for me. So I was like, oh, we pull in my hair. Even as I pulled my hair and I pulled just to get it loose. I feel like a couple of days, I still, I still felt all those cocoa softness, tenderness of the scalp from this style. So it's actually like a, it's a, let's say very high tension. It's almost, it's slightly higher tension than braids, in my opinion. But not as high tension as Ghana weaving. Yeah, yeah, that's a no for me. Yeah, you guys watch my worst hairstyle video linked here. Okay, the next con is... It leaves your scalp exposed when you first get it there. Because the, like, the sections are, you cannot literally hide all the parts of your scalp. You know when you have twists, like I pack the twist up as a bun. Any other parts, is, like mine was zigzag in the center. That's why it's like this, it's zigzag in the center. It's not straight. My center of my head is very, it's like, it's always very tender. So I told her to do zigzag so that that part is covered with hair. So like, no matter what, the sun doesn't get to it. But your scalp is exposed. And if you're in Ife, where I'm staying, Ah, this one here is not friendly. It's not anybody's friend. It didn't come to joke. It didn't come for comic relief. It didn't come for a comedy show. The sun is not a... I was even considering putting sunscreen on my... Like, rubbing sunscreen on my scalp because it got to a point that... Ah, <sighs> Hellfire Pro Max, clearly. But it leaves your scalp exposed. Really, the one that they do with swine. Wool, wool will still, like, move. Wool can still... Because wool is material. Wool is like cloth. But it's when it's like rubber, it's like plastic. It's not going to go nowhere, damn. Hm. It's not going to stay how it stayed. It's just going to, it's just going to stay. Anywhere you stay, it stay. <laughs> so that is also a con. The last con is, who was asking me, how do you sleep with this style? When I had it wrapped up, sleeping was, was flawless. When I go to read on campus, I use the back of my head as pillow. I don't do, I didn't do any extra. I just put my head like this and I will go. On my sides, there was no tension, there was no anything. But as I took down the wrapping, sleeping with this is not being so. I don't even what I, I don't even wear satin. I don't wear satin anything. I don't tie satin scarf. I just tie my scarf on my pillow, put my head down like this, I lift my head up. This hair carry it up like this, <laughs> so that will have Cause sleeping with this, when I mean, it's losing, when it's not wrapped up, it's it they won't kind. It's somehow okay. So those are the three cons for me. Okay. So before we get into like um the maintenance of the hair. It is already very long ago. Ah, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> so, who would I recommend this? Like, who should I tell not to get this style? So, if you have like fine textured hair, this style would not, it will not do it for you. It will just be a lot of pressure on your scalp and it can actually cause hair to just break off. So, it's, to me, it's not, what I can advise you to do is don't do as thick as this. Make sure your hair under is braided. Like, let them do braids first. So, that that's enough. That's so the, the twine, ha uh, the wool of twine hangs onto the braided hair rather than hanging onto your hair directly. Like my hair, my hair is braided under each one. Everyone, my hair is braided under. And my hair is not even fine textured like that. It's like medium. My hair is braided under. Okay. If you're also trying to grow your edges, this shouldn't be, this really shouldn't be the style for you because, don't look at me some type of way, because, like, when they wrap it and it's new and you want to sleep and it's let, the air is let down, it pulls your edges. No cap. I'm not going to come and lie to you. It pulls your edges off. Your edges would it would it would evacuate into step out. It would take a leave. It would take sabbatical. It will it will leave you, and it might never come back. It will retire exactly. So if you're trying to go exit, I don't think this is what you should be doing. We're doing more like natural styles without extensions exactly. Also, if your scalp is super sun sensitive, that you know could survive. When you decide you have to tie scarf first, or rub sunscreen on your scalp, cause. I'm telling you, hmm. don't say I didn't tell you. Okay, so let's move on to the maintenance of this style. Let's move on, let's move on, get it right, get it right. <laughs> let's move on.
I have to get my towel on my body because I don't want to stain my whites. Okay, I'm not gonna stain my whites. So this is my half 18. He's giving me Kodak Black. He's giving me Ashake. No, no, me Ashake. Okay, but okay. Yes, that is very cute, guys. It's a very pretty style. I need to rock it more. I've, been, I've not been feeling so confident with it because, like, I'm not being myself for the past few days. But I feel as if now that I've done it, I feel as if I should just enjoy the style. Because I might do it again, like, next year. So I should enjoy the style. So, yeah, for what we're using my hair to maintain, obviously, we're only doing scalp maintenance. There's no hair because there's no hair. There's no strand or moisturizing or anything. Also, let me say that when you're installing this thing, I would advise you coat your strands with leave-in conditioner. What I did was I poured Mamiya organic leave-in conditioner because that's the one I had on each strand. Like, I, you like my hair was almost dripping conditioner. I'm like, no, it has to stay moisturized. Okay, <laughs> okay. So, plus, I mean, you guys, I always use my products in my hair. It is what it is. It is what it is. Shop DIYs like Kachi. <sighs> Running a business while being in school is not easy, but shop. I beg, shop DIYs like Kachi. Thanks, and God bless. Okay, so I'm going to go in my student team, but I didn't have it for myself again. I only have like just a couple of packs here for sale, so I can't. So I'm going to go in my vitalizing team. This contains henna, neem, um, rosemary, black tea, and green tea. Is it a neem or moringa? One of them has moringa, one of them has neem. I think it's neem. I think it's neem. I think it's neem. Okay, so this is like perfect for shedding. So if you're going to like do this style, I know your expansion shedding. Yeah, get this okay. So, this is how it looks in the bottle. Don't look at my favorite bottle some kind of way. Hot water spots it. <laughs> Hot water spots it, okay. So, I'm going to be going into my scalp just all over. You have to do like after is you have to do it like a, an oil or a pomade or something on your scalp. Well, I like, like is my brand because my products are very lightweight, like the elixir that I'm using, okay. So, you can go with my multifunctional elixir. This is the packaging. It's very, 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 very lightweight. It's like very lightweight. It's almost like you're putting water on your scalp. And when it doesn't like give you that, it doesn't give you build up. Because if you don't want something that will give you build up, it's still going to have it for like a month or two. No, no. You can go with my edges trigger elixir on your edges. That's how it looks. Exactly, you can go with your edges. Well, me, I'm like coconut head. I like to go all over my scalp. Because the truth is, like, I don't get to moisturize my hair as often, actually. I don't even do once a week because I'm so busy. I don't even remember. But if you want, you can go with the most functional elixir. Exactly. So, then going with this just on my edges and around my scalp. It's just easier. Contains amazing ingredients. This is thicker, so... This doesn't give you that build-up feeling, Sha, because... I thought about it deeply when I was making it. Oh, on my edges, of course. All that love. This is like my best selling product, my trigger elixir, because like everyone, like, like I always get, I always get good reviews. Like, actually, your edges, it worked for me. I've been using it for like two weeks now, and I'm seeing the difference. Thank you, baby girl. Thank you very much for your reviews. Please buy my product, please be giving me reviews. So that I'll have to, like, I'll be, so people will be able to trust me. It's not going to say I'm just capping. <laughs> Give me reviews, please. Good reviews or bad reviews. I've gotten some like very, very good reviews, and I don't think it's for bad. I've even gotten like feedback, not bad reviews, feedback like, oh, I would like it if you have this, this and this in your ingredients. I also want you to add this and this, and I'm taking it into heart. Like, next year, when I'm trying to like improve on my products and everything, and even probably launch new products, I'll be able to implement the ideas given to me by clients. Okay, so I'm just rubbing this all over my scalp at every section. And what you, like, what you can do is you can put this in and just put the oil in. So the oil even gets into each one that is wrapped in. You get. I don't do my edges with this style. It's just excessive build up. I don't also do any gel on my scalp or any uh, wool and shine, shine and jam or anything like that more build up okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys learned a thing or two tell me in the comments if you have done kiko before tell me what your experience was like tell me where you got i wanted to do this one in the market though this is like full market kiko but oh well oh. that is so cute so um so tell me your experience in the comment i really want to hear what you've gone through with like getting the style done in nigeria precisely and any other country you are in okay subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram and natural kachi tiktok and natural kachi as a professional influencer where linkedin Okay, um, YouTube, please subscribe. I'm joining to 21,000 subscribers. I don't even know how.
Tineke, Idima, Idima, Idima. Okay, so subscribe to my channel. I'm very, very grateful for this platform. I would never take it for granted as usual. I would never take it for granted. Okay, and I think I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to take it till you make it. Bye. Oh, 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 oh.